Edward Avery McElhaney, the son of Tabasco sauce inventor E. McElhaney, was an Arctic explorer, naturalist, and conservationist. In 1895, he founded a private bird sanctuary to protect the snowy egrets. This sanctuary is known as Bird City. Assuming the presidency of the company in 1898, he built his family home on the island and continued his conservation efforts by converting his private Avery Island estate into the jungle gardens. He gradually expanded the gardens until it reached its present size of more than 170 acres, opening to the public in 1935. This was our next stop in our visit to Avery Island. Hope you can join us. jungle tour and they have an app that they use that gives you points of interest and gives you a little bit of information about each section of the uh, tour you're doing so as you drive along it's sectioned out like we're coming up on boathouse and that's going to be the next uh, thing it tells you about i have the app up and then what happens with you what do you do Push the button and... Hey, McElhaney became friends with Charles Willis Ward. And then there's the boat. Together, Ward and McElhaney made a lasting impact on Louisiana conservation. I believe it's done by GPS, and so as you get closer to the point site, of the point of interest, it comes up and tells you what's coming up. And the app is accessible by a QR code, and supposedly there is other locations around the country where this app works as a self-guided tour for you. That's pretty cool, dude. Yeah. Okay, let's get going. Jungle Gardens 
headquarters after doing our self-guided tour. Picked up our patch for our headliner and now are going to make our way to how do you pronounce it? Frank, uh, Franklin, Louisiana. At the wildlife management area there in Franklin for camping, overlanding tonight. So wish us luck, safe travels, and we'll check in with you once we get there to show you the uh, free camp spot that we have found. All right, we arrived at, it's called Attica Pass WMA, just outside of Franklin, Louisiana. That means Wildlife Management Area, right? WMA? Yep, and let me tell you, there's not much out here, as described in most of the I Overlander and stuff. It's farm fields, and farm fields, and then there's a levee and a boat launch, and then more farm fields. And some an equipment yard across the way. Yeah. But it is nice. It's free camping. There's a water spigot here, three picnic tables, and a flat area to park. So can't ask for more. Yeah. So after spending the day in every island, this is where we're going to end up setting up camp. Probably be here a few days. So um, enjoying the peace and quiet and just making sure we have a great time. So lots of birds. So I uh, hope you enjoyed our trip to Avery Island and uh, the Jungle Gardens and um, if you're inspired to take that trip someday or add it to your bucket list that'd be awesome so as always keep making the most of your dash and if you'd like to follow along on our future adventures please subscribe to our channel we would really appreciate it and click the like button if you liked our video thank you very much have a great one so. There's some type of utility building, an equipment yard, farm fields, there's a picnic bench over there marking that camp spot, probably another camp spot there. We took this camp spot, the water spigot right there, and then there's a picnic table. On yonder, you can't beat it. Come on, babe. Went on to getting the tent open.